you have to get in the car and drive to the store to get it, that's a big barrier. Right. So you're putting that barrier in place to help you reach your goal. He says you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems. Ooh. Set up for success in 2022. It's Hunt for Wellness, episode number 32. Welcome to Hunt for Wellness, episode number 32. This is our last episode of season one. Yes. As we wrap up the year 2021, we started this uh, kind of last spring sometime. I can't remember the exact date, but uh, yeah. 31 shows to date. Now this will be our 32nd. And then in our next episode, we will go to uh, season two. Yes. But uh, first of all, let me introduce yourself. I am John Hunt. Christy Hunt. And this is the show where we help you live your best life, mind, body, and spirit. And this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that produce great water for great wellness. Head over today to waterdistillers.com. Okay, we're wrapping up 2021. Yes. It was a good year, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and um, you know, this time of year, People are kind of thinking about 2022 and how to, you know, what they want to accomplish. And, you know, a lot of that, you know, revolves around like either New Year's resolutions or you can call them goals or, you know, all yeah. those kinds of things. Right. Yes. So um, how are we going to set people up for success? Well, we're going to talk about goals. Yes. And we're going to talk about systems. Systems, yeah. Because you really can't have one without the other, can you? No, you really can't. So, like, a goal is the desired outcome, and your system is your collection of habits to help you get there. Right. Because if you just have a goal with no way to get there, it's more of a wish. Yeah, like a dream or an aspiration. Yes, I mean, I would love to do this. Well, you know, unless you have a system or a plan for doing it. And, you know, traditional goal setting, and we're going to hone in on wellness today, but traditional goal setting, you know, you, you kind of drive your goal from your vision or what you want to desire most out of life. And then you kind of come up with intermediate steps. And then ultimately, what do I do this week in order to achieve that goal? Right. But yes. I think that's where the systems come in. Right, right. And James Clear yep. of Atomic Habits, which we've talked about him many times, yep. um, he says you do not rise to the level of your goals, you fall to the level of your systems, Ooh. which are your habits. Yeah, yeah. Good habits. <laughs> Let's define systems a little bit here, because I think that's might be a word that people aren't used to uh, listening uh, or, or comprehending exactly what systems means, but, um, you know. What it's, it, it's like a plan. Yeah. So, Regarding, let's say, our workout plan, yeah. we have signed up at Orange Theory Fitness and right. we work out four days a week. We set up the times when we go to work, work out. We yeah. sign up for those times. And if we don't go, we get charged. Yeah. <laughs> if we, yeah, if we don't show too. up. <laughs> so that is a system yeah. that helps us keep working out. Yeah, and the working out ultimately helps us have better physical wellness. Yes. I think it also helps... Oh, it does. Life, Mentally, you know? spiritually, emotionally. Yeah. Yes. And we definitely. did have a podcast earlier this season on yeah. uh, exercise and working out. So you can check that out. We'll link it in the show notes. So um, let's get down to wellness. Now, different people have different things they want to accomplish, right? Yes. So um, let's talk about the the typical one that a lot of people do. I want to lose X number of pounds. Yes let's say this year. And I read somewhere else too that like by the end of January, a large percent of people that sent resolutions at least. Yes. Um, Don't ha broke they're, them. they're done. <laughs> yeah, it's all over with. So uh, we're not trying to encourage that. I think again, that's where the system comes in. So yeah. let's talk about, um, uh, you know, you've got a goal like I wanna lose weight. Yes. 
And I think that's a desire. You know, maybe uh, it comes from you looking in the mirror and not being satisfied with the way you look or, Mm -hmm. you know, your clothes are fitting tighter. So there's this external uh, stimulus, right, that Mm -hmm. make you think, you know, I've really got to lose weight. Yeah. But wanting to do it and actually doing it are two different things. Mm -hmm. So how does the system come in? Well, you have to decide kind of what you want to do. Um, And I... One system I would say is tracking your food. Yeah. And that's something that can be done all the time. You can get these apps on your phone and you can track your food. And that's really good. Well, and it also... Because you're just aware. Yeah, it keeps you aware. And when you start seeing that, oh, that was that many calories or points or whatever system, you know, Mm -hmm. there's different systems that use different things. You know, micronutrients or, you know, you can do... uh, how many calories so there's just uh, yeah. you know we're not saying you have to do a particular one but whatever you do writing it down is the system or yeah. using the app um, we'll link to the lose it app that's one that we use uh, yeah. i love that little app i just got to keep using it well and the you other know? thing yeah it's a habit yeah yeah and then another thing is don't put bad stuff in your house yeah you know don't buy the candy don't buy the chips don't buy the junk food that is going to make you go off the plan. Yeah, out of sight, out of mind. Well, if it's not there, you're not going to eat it. Unless yeah, out of you sight, get... out of stomach. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you have to get in the car and drive to the store to get it. That's a big barrier. Right. So you're putting that barrier in place to help you reach your goal. Yeah, and with apps like the Lose It app, you you know you enter in your breakfast and you you actually in those apps you put you know what goal weight do i want to be at by what time and it kind of calculates all that out to say okay today you've got 1700 or 1500 calories Mm -hmm. and then after breakfast oh i decided to eat this it doesn't tell you what you can and can't eat it just gives you a value for everything yeah yeah so So you can see where you're at yeah and you try to make more lifestyle choices versus just saying i cannot eat pizza right that would be a hard one Right? Yeah, but yeah. maybe I only eat two pieces because it's you know two hundred calories per piece or whatever it might be, right? Yeah. So knowing those things are being aware. Intermittent fasting is another way yeah. to um, kind of get control over eating. Yeah. And just saying you know, I'm not going to eat during this period of time. Yeah. And what happens is you're like, okay, I'm not eating. There's self-control there that spills over into the other times when you are eating. Yeah, and even uh, there's a practical thing with intermittent fasting. If you take a meal out, those are calories that you're not consuming. Right. But it's also good for your body, too. It's very good for your body. And it's good spiritually, too, because if you fast and you pray every time you feel like you're hungry it's another thing that gets you focused on praying and uh you know so thinking about the mind body spirit you know fasting has multiple benefits to it it does but you know you can't just like fast you know every day all day and you know eventually you're gonna have to eat something right right? so just (laughs) kind of doing things doing things wise that work in a system you know yeah and putting it into a lifestyle and making it part of a habit yeah uh, that you do we, yeah. we fast twice a week yeah and it's, it's doable yeah now the other thing is is some people like maybe 20 years ago you did something and it worked for you mm-hmm. but your your situation has changed or even last year yeah and so <laughs> how does that play into it yeah like we ha- used to have four kids at home and we had to or i had to plan out all the meals i planned out all the meals i'd shop every other week because i couldn't stand shopping every week it took too much time and now we're down to one kid at home and things are different we have therefore more money and more time so we can go out to eat a lot more i find myself busier with other things it's not as urgent except it is really important and so I'm finding I really need to focus on making the menu and shopping and get getting that into a pattern again because yeah, yeah. things that's, have that's shifted. A, that's the system. Yes, right? things have shifted. Yeah, my season has changed. Yeah. with my kids. Right. Um, so you know, I think we've really emphasized a lot about setting the goal and then having the system. Mm-hmm. Uh, what other are there other elements you think that are important to discuss with with respect to? You know, I, I think even goal setting is maybe not the um, necessarily the right word because you're trying to make lifestyle changes 
And it's not like, okay, I'm going to hit this goal by February 15th and then I'm going to stop. Right. Yeah. You know, that's what happens with a lot of the, even the weight loss ones. You, you hit your goal, you do well, and then you decide to start have, eating again. I don't have to be on that diet anymore. <laughs> right, yeah. Right. Which is, is not lifestyle, is yeah. not keeping it. And so what is it? Where do you want to be? You know, where do you want to be in your life? And things are always changing. Yeah. We are always changing. Our hair is growing. You know, yeah. even we can have look different from day to day. Yeah. Based on our hair. And um, we're getting older. We're getting more wrinkles. We're getting, <laughs> you know. Um, I'm not. <laughs> little kids are getting bigger. Yes. You know. And bigger kids are having little kids. Yeah. Something and. Like that, <laughs> Older people are getting shorter. I mean, yeah. we're, we're changing all yeah. the time. And yeah. then the times change, the seasons change. Everything is changing. Yeah. And, you know, I think another important point uh, is to not necessarily get overwhelmed by doing, you know, implementing 20 different changes. Um, episode four of our podcast, one of the early ones in season one here was about, you know, how to get started yeah. by setting wellness goals. And, you know, what is that first step? But just make it simple. You know, don't comp. You know, don't all of a sudden say, "Well, in the next three months, I am going to do a total, you know, transformation that's going to change everything." Those are typically harder to implement. So be realistic. Yeah, right? I'd choose one thing. Choose yeah. one thing to work on this mm -hmm. year, and how can you change that? What is the goal? Yeah. What is the goal and the lifestyle maintenance goal? Mm -hmm. you know that you want to be at uh, is it better sleep yeah you know is it going to bed earlier and getting up at a certain time so you have more time in the morning so you have more energy is it um reading through the bible in the year to grow more spiritually yeah is it to join a bible study or a church yeah and those are some of the systems you put in place so yes. like find the app yes or find the church Yes. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Yes. So so what are some of your goals or things you'd like to accomplish in 2022? I'm sure people would love to hear that. So would I. <laughs> <laughs> well, just in really thinking about this, I needed I need to rethink my menu. Yeah. And my menu planning. We menu, got less people. Menu planning and grocery planning. Yeah. Okay, that's not very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> Well, but it is. But you have a system for that. And, you know, some of the systems you have from the past will work like you have the grocery list blank template. Yeah. that's That doesn't really change. No. But what you put on there might, you know. Yeah. It feels good, though, when you make these changes. And I just got a new prayer journal for 22. Yeah. yeah. And it's a different color. It's, you know, there's a few different changes in it. I really like it. It's by Valmarie Paper, and we'll, we'll link that yeah, that's in not, there. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, those are. Um, but I love that. I get a new planner mm -hmm. every year. I love that. I just want to tweak some things that I'm doing. I'd like to have, spend more time with friends. Yeah. I'd like to scrapbook more, make time for that. Yeah. You know, that's also been, we had a big, change no cabin anymore we sold our cabin yeah we had a house fire we had just had different things happen <laughs> and i just haven't been doing that and i really yeah. want to get back to that yeah i think that's that's a you know and that's part of living a balanced life yes i mean it's not just all about you know i want to achieve this business goal or i want to achieve this health goal you're trying to just have a balanced life for you and don't get burnt out on anything one thing because right. that's what happens you get burnt out if you spend too much time in one area yes I mean, yes you can get burnt out on weight loss you can get yeah. burnt out on you know just about anything right in excess okay well that's good what do you want to change well i have been uh doing you know we've been doing a little dr caroline leaf the neurocycle thing and um i really want to spend more time collaborating with other people mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. because i think that is uh you know, I have tended to got gotten more withdrawn and, you know, kind of spend time with myself all the time, which is not bad to have self time. But I do want to reach out and uh, you're collaborating with me. I, I know this podcast. This is great. This has been a breakthrough for this year. <laughs> we weren't doing it, you know, no. in 2020. I know. So this is yeah, I'd love to see more um, growth on the podcast here and, you know, help more people with the uh 
challenges that they have in life. By the way, we haven't mentioned it yet. Yeah. Um, we do offer a free discovery call over at huntforwellness.com. It's just click the blue connect button and we'd love to just have a discussion with you. Maybe talk about your goals yes. for 2022 or one thing you'd like to uh, maybe pursue in the next year. You know, maybe it's something for your health, maybe it's spiritual, whatever it is. But, uh, you know, a lot of lately a lot of people have been asking us about sleep and i think a lot of people are not sleeping very well yes and so you know there's different things you can do we in fact we did two episodes for the podcast on that i think it's number 24 and number 25 we'll link to those as well just about you know uh how can you get better sleep and and doing some things to just check on yourself Mm -hmm. so yeah i'd like to you know keep Hey, I just want to keep standing up straight. So I want to keep staying in that gym. Yes. And, you know, eat right and have a good balanced life. Spend an inordinate amount of time with the new granddaughter. Yes. That's (laughs) going to be an out of balance thing, but that's okay. That's a good out of balance. Yeah. So uh, that's a lot of fun, too. So um, anything else before we wrap up? Well, I think that just like working out in the gym, which feels hard. Yeah. It feels hard, but every time we're done, we're so oh, happy the best that we. Part of the workout is when it's done. The, but that we worked out, yeah, and the results are we're more fit. Yeah, we feel better. We can do more things than we used to be yeah. able to do because we are fit. And so I think it's a good reminder. So even when things are hard, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Well, and, and the other thing about that is that if if your goal is to feel better, and you know all over it may require something like three to four times a week working out yeah which is a daily kind of or you know weekly activity that you need to work into your mm-hmm. system or work into your schedule mm-hmm. and you know that's i think where the real key comes in like you can't feel better uh accidentally accidentally or <laughs> no. like if you work out one time a year exactly that's not going to work so exactly um, and that's where you know you have to at the end of that workout when you're feeling oh it feels good i'm really glad we're done with that you gotta congratulate and i I think that's probably another part of goal setting we haven't touched on is evaluating yes um all good goal setting programs have evaluation points whether it be quarterly or you know twice a year but um you know whatever you set up have a have also in your system some way to check in on yourself Yes. You know, weight loss, you do, uh, you know, you check your weight, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but there are other things you can do uh, to just keep on top of it and make sure that, hey, you know what? A year ago, I started this and it's the end of the year and I accomplished it. Yes. And feel good about what you've done, not about what you didn't do, because you're going to have failures too. Yeah. Look at the gain. Yep. Not the gap. That's right. The That's l- right. Where you're not. Yeah. Where you haven't achieved. All right. Well, we don't have much time here in 2021 left. Anything else you want to tell people before we uh, sign off? I'd say pick something and go for it. Yeah. Just do something. Pick an area that you want to improve in and then brainstorm and think about ways to do that. And a way to systematize the steps of it. Yes. You know, and, and, and make sure that it's even on a daily basis or weekly basis, you can accomplish it over a longer period of time because you've kind of laid it out. And it's better to do it with a friend. Yeah, awesome, yeah, get some accountability. We talk about a lot of that too in in our other podcasts as far as uh, you know the goal setting one, so. But just like, you know, when we work out, we work out together. Yeah. Which is. Because we probably would never get out of bed. If, well, we <laughs> have worked out by ourselves before, but yeah, it's, not it's, as, it's nicer when you yeah. have a buddy to deal with. Absolutely, yeah. good. Hey, we just wanna remind you that this episode of Hunt for Wellness is brought to you by waterdistillers.com. Great machines that produce great, pure water for your great wellness. You can find out more information, even if you don't know what water distillers are, just go over and check it out, waterdistillers.com. Come And again, if you uh, need to connect with us, we offer that discovery call. It's easy. It could be phone, Zoom, whatever, whatever works for you. Uh, 15 minutes. Just go over to huntforwellness.com. Click on the blue connect button. And we would love to serve you and help you uh, go in the right direction. Uh, whether it be you know mind, body, or spirit, we're we're there for you. Mm-hmm. And then come back next time for season two uh, of Hunt for Wellness.